everyone, I am Mami Sikaya, number one Kasua ambassador. Today I am not in Kasua, I am at Ashesi University at Brekuso. The view from here is amazing. Welcome to the best school in Ghana. I recently visited one of the best schools in Ghana to talk to the students about how this school has changed their lives. My brother's friend and his roommate and what's your name? Steven. Steven, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You're good. How long have you been at Ashesi? Well, I've, I've been here for two and a half. Two and a half years. Yeah. So you're a junior. I, I am. You're a junior. What are you studying? Management information systems. Oh wow, just like my brother. Yeah. Wait, what exactly is management information systems, by the way? Yeah, so it's more like an integration of business administration and computer science. Oh, so it's, just like a blend. So it's like the future of business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. What do you want to do with that? Uh, I don't know. Yet. Actually, um, this school is liberal arts, so it makes it like easy to find out what. You what you want to do. Uh, so I'm just trying to try the process. Okay, so wait, how do you hear about Shesi? How did I hear about it? Uh, I was actually forced to come here. You were forced to come here? Why? <laughs> by, my, by my friends, because they had, they had heard so much of the school. At the school. And, like, <laughs> and, all, and they were just like, hey. You, you gotta know. come here. Wait, does that mean you're a rich kid? Because I heard in Ashesi all the students that go to Ashesi are rich kids. Very that's a lie that's a lie <laughs> that's, that's a, a big lie because there are people like on on half scholarship full scholarships and, and all that and mm -hmm. they make about a big percentage of the school like, oh really so a lot of people are not actually paying the full price of the school yeah most most people are not paying like the, the full but how much is the tuition anyway that's the tuition now um following the rise of the dollar is about um twenty six thousand ghana cities Okay, so that's about roughly five thousand dollars, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Close to five thousand dollars. Okay, I mean it's not terrible, but yeah, it be um. <laughs> in the Ghana setting. In, in the Ghana, in the, in the setting, yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. I understand. I understand. But do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's worth paying that amount to be in the school? I do. You I do? do. I do. At first, I wasn't seeing it. I, it was it was all all stress and all that. But then going forward to my second and third year, I was I was, I was like, whoa. The school actually gives you some kind of skills you can't get anywhere. Really? So, yeah, it's it's great. What's like the most impactful thing that the school has taught you then? Um, so I stutter, right? But then the mm -hmm. school has sort of made me more confident by you know making me do presentations and oh. all that, and that's actually why I'm like talking right now yeah. so your public speaking is yeah, like improved yeah, that's, really good. that's really good yeah. i feel like um one of the ways to become really successful in life is to learn how to talk to people because when you learn how to talk to people you're able to persuade them and you're able to catch their attention and you're a businessman so sell something to them <laughs> or something like that yeah, right. yeah. yeah. All that, and it's amazing. It's, it's really great. I, That's I nice. love being here. What's the biggest challenge you've had, I should say? The biggest challenge. Uh -huh. the challenge. I think the biggest challenge would be balancing sc school with other things here, yeah, because they have like the wide range of extracurricular stuff, mm -hmm. and the workload here is crazy. crazy. <laughs> it's, it's it's so much, right? Yeah. So I think the the most challenging thing is balancing it. Mm. Yeah, but do you awesome. think you've been able to find a balance or you're still trying? Uh, I think I've been able to do like, you know, seventy five percent. You know, I'm still waiting for like the rest of the years to figure things out. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure there are people graduating and they still don't know how to balance oh. it. Yeah. So you were forced to come to this school. Does that mean like you regret coming here or you actually <laughs> agree with your parents now sometimes i regret but then why? sometimes i'm like okay why mm -hmm. why do i regret because the, the the work is so much i don't think i i i have the social life i want oh yeah because you can't really go out and all that because you always have 11 15 assignments and everything and you're yeah. you're like just just struggling to do it and then meeting up with friends 
keeping relationships, family. It's, it's just it's just so much, right? So I just think in that aspect, I don't like the school. Yeah, I see. But then in, in terms of like education and then the impact is having, I'm, I'm really feeling it. It's like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it good. Yeah. So I guess it's a compromise, right? Yes, but I mean, it's just for four years, so you just have to like hang in there for a while and then when you're done hopefully for as long. long but you're almost done you have just one more year to be done right so it's not that much right? what would you tell somebody that wants to come to Ashese or has heard of Ashese and thinks Ashese is only for DBs DBs by the way means rich kids what do you what do you, what do you have to say to them so uh, personally I would, I would say that if your parents can afford it, go for it. Yeah, it's it's value for your money. Mm-hmm. And um, you don't have to be so rich to, to come here because the, the school has, like, good scholarship programs and everything, you know, that's end. Mm-hmm. You just have to put in, like, a little effort in your WASI and your IGs, your A-level exams and all that, and you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, come, come, come. It's great here. Come to a chassis. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm here with my brother. Brother, please, what's your name? Ebu. <laughs> yeah, my brother's name is Ebu Aqua. He's one of the coolest guys I know. <laughs> Ebu, how has your stay at a chassis been like? Okay, so it's it's been interesting. Interesting. And, um, transformative experience right yeah. wow so when i came in first year i was struggling um, a bit academically and the struggles continue from high school like i mean the struggles started in high school so at some point i even thought i wasn't like smart enough right oh. but, i mean as i went through it i had my senior brother here too so we used to have conversations and engage with each other and like he just coached, coached me through how to do better and like yeah, I'm doing better now, so, yeah. That's good. So, how has Ashesi transformed you? Okay, so, I mean, I actually learned how to learn in Ashesi. Oh. Right? Because Ashesi, when you look at the future you're paying, and you look at the results I was getting, you're like... Did you feel like you were wasting money? I, I felt like I was wasting my parents' money because I know, like, how... Like, my father had to put in the effort to pay my fees. So, like, once I was in yielding the results, I needed to put in the effort. So, like, mm. I decided to challenge myself, to push myself to the limits, like, to my limits. So, um, I think in my second year especially, I used to sleep, um, like, three hours, four hours a day. Wow. Like, the day I had rested enough was, like, five hours, six hours. Yeah. That was and you were just studying two hours, yeah. just going at it. Yeah. Wasn't that detrimental to your health? Uh, in any I was way? perfectly fine. I don't even know where the strength came from. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, the strength came from God. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm happy you were able to survive through that because that's difficult. I did that for just one week and I could not. I fell sick. So, wait, how were you learning before? And how did Ashesi teach you how to learn? Okay, so I actually learned to learn smart and not hard. Mm. All right, mm. so learning hard would just make you a good student but like learning smart makes you an excellent student yeah. so like sometimes when you go through questions from um, that lecturer set you see usually lecturers have a way of setting their questions so yeah. you go through the way they set their questions from past questions or something you can when you're learning you can see the pattern and you can know where they'll pick their questions from, from so yeah. you can learn in that direction yeah yeah and like it's everything that you learn that's important sure. So, you know, sure. sometimes to um like you just have to learn the key areas. I don't. I wanted to give an example, but there's no example I can give right now. But like, you just have to learn the key areas and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I think one of the major things I learned going to school was also learning smart and not hard. Else, you just waste your time reading so many things that are not really necessary. So you are graduating from the best school in Ghana. Yeah. How does that feel? How does it feel? 
honestly normal honestly. it feels very yeah. normal don't you feel like you have so much to offer the world now going to the best school yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the best schools in the world yeah, i've learned a lot from this school but like i'm not the first to do it so like mm. i feel like it's not anything extraordinary mm. like people graduated from here and haven't really done anything so i'm hoping that i won't be like them but i'll actually do something after graduating yeah, yeah. Mm. but do you have any plans to change the world any plans do you have any them? ideas in mind that you think will change the world <laughs> i think that's a bit far fetched right now but oh. yeah hopefully i can um impart the world with the knowledge that i've i've, I've gained through my four years in Ashes university yeah. mm. but i saw your projects that you did you did this project where you recycled plastic into arts yeah how did you go about that that is a very cool idea i feel like that that can change the world by itself yeah that was an interesting idea i mean it was um so i, I we worked in a group for that project yeah. right and um initially we we're just suggesting ideas like and i think one of my group members called joyce joyce Selby, she came up with the idea she suggested the idea i mean in the beginning we didn't want to go with it but we just decided to like name decided to go with it because we had to do something right mm-hmm. yeah and then yeah, he said that something can change the world. With. Yeah, something can change the world. With, but I mean, we decided not to continue, or maybe for now we decided we've decided that we are not continuing. But like, who knows? Maybe someday we'll pick it up again. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think it's a really cool idea, and congratulations on achieving that. Do you have any regrets coming to Ashesi? I know it's been a real journey for you. Are there any regrets at all? Or? Regrets coming to Ashesi? No. no. I don't think I have even one, one, one. one regret. Yeah, because wow. like, I've really enjoyed my, my experience here. I mean, it's not been easy. It's been challenging. Like It's been really, really challenging. I remember my first year, first semester. You know, coming from the government um, se- sector, right? Like, uh-huh. I mean, the government schools. The way you learn and the way you are you are taught is different from how you learn in a uh-huh. So, the government um, schools, you have to just chew and pour. Your lectures, I mean, your teachers don't even come to class to teach. Yeah. But you know, here your teachers are always always in class. I mean, the beginning was even weird for me. Like, teachers are always in class. Like, why? Why are they? Are, that's not the teacher's place. Yeah. <laughs> the teacher's place is at home with his wife and kids. <laughs> Yeah, and like the questions were set in like a different way. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like they they there were questions that were like, like uh, how do I put it? Like they cause you to really really think. If you don't have any regrets at all, mosquitoes are chewing me. By the way, that's why I'm moving. My next. <laughs> there are so many mosquitoes. Tell us some of the fun times you've had at Ashesi because honestly from Instagram and stuff I can tell that Ashesi has some fun activities maybe it's not all the time but you guys seem to have a lot of fun activities yeah, and stuff Ashesi so. is not stressful at all like trust me <laughs> Ashesi is not stressful at all like, <laughs> you just enjoy you have a nice time like you see on your Instagram so yeah if you are thinking of coming to Ashesi because of what you've heard like it's stressful don't mind it Ashes is very relaxed. And, mm. yeah, like my the fun times, crazy day with Spider Man. Oh like, yeah. yeah, you know that's how Ashes is. All you the time, yeah, all the time. You have fun. Is it too late for me to transfer to Ashes? Okay. Okay. I'm coming. Uh, do you have any um? Anything to tell people out there, parents out there that are thinking of taking their kids to university or maybe just looking at education um, options in Ghana and okay, stuff? Well, I have spoken to a number of people like like SHS um, leavers, right? Uh-huh. And some of them, like, they are scared to apply to Ashesi because... Um, of the school fees but like Ashesi has many scholarship um, opportunities for people like mm-hmm. there are so many I think about 45% of the school's population is on some form of, of scholarship oh, right? wow. with about 20% being full scholarship wow yeah so like don't be scared once your results are fine like just apply don't be scared just apply because like Ashesi has the best of opportunities like you meet the best of people mm-hmm. like even though people on scholarship you meet the high the high the end are, yeah, the people are the top the, yeah, just paying the hundred yeah. percent school oh, yeah, fees. Them. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So that's to the students, right? So how about the parents? 
Well, let's you, go to the let's student, both yeah, the parents. So yeah, don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. Just apply. The students are not scared. It's just the parents who are scared. So mm. scared of the fees. But do you think the fees is worth the quality oh, yeah, I think you it are is. getting? It is. It, it is, is worth because it? in this school everything is like, um, like they try and work towards um, perfection, like mm. excellence, right? Yeah. They use the best of everything, so we have the best of teachers, like the learning and. Um, or the, the structure for learning is also like very good yeah like they are very nice places you can learn like the green lounge you can see there so like they're very relaxing places you can learn anywhere like the environment is very conducive for learning and it's like yeah oh, it's very good, that's very nice good. wait so both of you that i uh, interviewed did msi mis, MIS yeah. management information systems what yeah. other programs as i should say offer okay so we offer mechan- mechanical engineering, mm. computer engineering, electrical engineering, then um, computer science, business administration, and management information systems. And we have the master's program, which is in mechatronics. Yeah. Mm. yeah for now, those are the courses um, being offered. But like, wow. I learned in, in some years to come, they'll add more courses. So. so it's more of an engineering and business school right yeah, now. Yeah. I think you're at a good place. Yeah. And I'm happy for you. Congratulations once again. And thank you for talking to me. Right. I'll see you at home. I met some of my fans so my <laughs> I'm, I'm Gerald. Yeah, and I'm Gigi. And what are you studying? Yeah, electrical engineering. Electrical yeah. engineering. So, how's your life actually been like studying electrical engineering? Because that's like one of the most difficult um, yeah, yeah, yeah. programs in the world. Mm. So, how's that? Uh, I think from freshman year, you didn't really know it to be tough because you're doing all the general courses. But when you yeah. start to do like the divisional courses for electrical engineering you see that it's very very tough mm-hmm. so you have to adjust you have to relearn all your algebra again especially in the final year we took a course like power system analysis and i really struggled because i had to go and pick back all my algebra and then apply it in the course but i'll say that electrical engineering electrical and electronics engineering has been fun i've really enjoyed the electronics part that's the secretary part and then oh, the power, I'm not really a fan of it, but I also did it because <laughs> you had to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually hard, but it's fun too if you like it. Yeah, that's what I think. But you like the time of Oh, yeah, it was, it was really cool, it was really fun. People always say that school is not fun and all of that, but it's actually very fun. But the electrical engineering in DAE, it's strong, like it's hard. <laughs> that one, you need hard to be able to complete it. So we are here and we are done. So but do you know you're going to make a lot of money after this because electrical engineering but is like one oh, of the highest paying engineering degrees in the world in the that. world oh yeah yeah in it's, the it's world. true but i mean you still have to be versatile even though you're yeah, yeah, you yeah. you know, looking starting businesses and all mm, that so what business are you yeah. thinking of starting oh <laughs> well, oh yeah. beg, we have not really there we, we, <laughs> yeah. just, we have not even graduated <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we think about that. we'll cut you some slack then okay right. so um if anybody's like thinking of coming to us or something what do you tell them yes you must come because it's it's, good. it's a mixture of liberal arts and what you actually want to do. So I'll say, Ashes is one of the best places to be in, and the best universities to be in Ghana. Wow, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. And guys, they are sweaty because they were playing football, yeah. And they usually are more than this, we are fresh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are very fresh. They are very ah, handsome sure. young men. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Kindly hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Remember that a brand new world, but life is how you make it. I am Mami Sika, your number one castle ambassador, and I'm out. Peace. How does that feel like actually being in the best school in Ghana? It's bragging rights. Bragging rights, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can tell the world that, hey, I'm from the best school in Ghana. <laughs>